Okay, I've shot the first uh, test roll of film for the panoramic pinhole, and I'm going to process this now. I've rewound the film, so and look at processing. Film processing is very straightforward. Use a small tank, spirals. This is a funnel. Pour the chemicals in and out whilst not letting the light in and a lid to stop the chemicals spilling when you invert the tank. To get the film out of the cassette and onto the spiral, prise open the top of the cassette with a bottle opener. And whilst this is an empty cassette, there is no film inside here. So you get the idea. The film will be coiled around the spool and attached to the spool. On the end of the film will be the leader. That needs cutting off. Once you've cut that off, this is in total darkness. I use a changing bag. I don't sit in a darkened room. I just put everything inside a changing bag to do this. The way that I find this slot in order to feed the film in is I put my thumb and forefinger at the end of the film. I put my th other thumb on the opening to the spiral, which has got a slightly raised edge, and I bring my thumbs together. I know that when my thumbs are together, I'm at the beginning of the slot. Once you get past these ball bearings here and one on the other side, it will load automatically by twisting, like this, and twisting, and twisting, until all of the film is onto the cassette. At the end of the film will be the film spool. That just needs cutting off. The rest of the film feeds in. Then the spiral goes into the tank. I put a second spiral on top to stop this one moving when I'm agitating the chemicals. Those go in, the funnel goes on, and now, once that's locked, it is light tight. It can be taken out of the changing bag, ready for the chemicals. Chemicals, there's two chemicals, key chemicals, the developer and the fixer. You can use a stop in between those two chemicals, which neutralizes the developer. You need the developer in there at the right concentration or dilution. You need it in at the right temperature, which for black and white is 20 degrees centigrade. And you need it in for the right amount of time and the right amount of agitation. Those four key factors will determine the amount of development that your film has. After the developer, you can either rinse with water or use a stock bath. A stock does not cost very much, it's worth using. It prolongs the life of your fixer, which can be reused. The developer can only be used once. The fixer, time and temperature are not so crucial. The main thing is that the film is properly fixed. And by that, all the film that hasn't been developed is washed away and left clear. Once you've fixed, you wash, hang it up to dry in the bathroom. Once that's done, you can either print it, traditional photographic prints, or scan it into the computer to work on it.